Excited to. Um, we've had four launches this year, which we've talked about with all of our customers and our investors, two of which are really aimed at Africa. So IS-36, IS-33E, our second EPIC satellite, were launched together in, uh, out of French Guiana on Ariane. So we took the bold step to do that. We wanted to make sure that we could get both satellites up as soon as possible. 36 is already in service with MultiChoice, our multi-decade customer. They're going to expand their DTH portfolio. They're seeing growth in HD, in SD, sports, different content, and also to provide more restoration capability for their platform. We're also working with them, continuing on DTT. So DTT is continuing to roll out throughout the, the continent a little bit slower than planned. You know, the ITU deadline was mid-15, and right now three countries have made it, and South Africa is in transition, but the other 50 are still working their way. So there's still a lot of work to do there. We're very excited with our IS-36 asset, IS other satellites that we're going to launch next year at 17 to address that. And you have a new satellite coming into service in January 2017, right? Right, right. correct. IS-33E. So this yeah. is our second epic payload, and we are excited to bring this to Africa. What we expect to see is improved performance, better economics, and easier access for our customers. On IS-29E, we had 50 customers migrate to that spacecraft and we're up and operating in two weeks. It's easy to implement. We've seen throughput gains of 300%. And so we're gonna be able to bring new solutions to the marketplace. So when you think about rural connectivity, when you think about enterprise, we're able to now do this with a much smaller kit. So 1.2 meters, 75 centimeter, all of a sudden new options are available where before it had to be large. So we're gonna be able to bring a much higher performance, better economics and easier access for all of our customers. And that's incredibly important for the African continent. Right? Correct, correct. We've seen a lot of challenges breaking into new markets you know, with our service providers um, because of some of the logistics, because of, because of some of the cost points. So we're going to be able now to scale down into smaller markets uh, and broader markets because we're bringing high throughput capability to the entire continent. This isn't just little spots over certain populated areas. This is the entire continent. So we're very excited about the potential to do this. Kurt, thank you for your time today. It's been a pleasure. Thanks. It's always great to talk to you.